peekaboo. <laughs> What's up guys, Jared back. So I wanted to do this video for a little while now and um, the reason I haven't is because um, every time I try it with one of my devices, I keep, I, I don't know, things keep going wrong. So we're doing this attempt 16 now, as they were. Um, this is the, my Nexus 4 and we're gonna show you how to use CyanogenMod installer with your Android device. Now there is a list of supported devices. <clears throat> it's a long list, but not every single device in the world is obviously uh, supported at the moment. So I'm going to be posting two links in the description below. <clears throat> excuse me, one of which is to the Play Store so that you can download their um, Sanogen Mod installer application, which is right there, as you can see. Um, and the other one is, if we can go ahead and switch on over to the computer now, the actual Sanogen Mod installer PC uh, program. Um, this is compatible with Nexus, or Nexus, oh my goodness, Windows 7 and Windows 8. I'm sorry, Mac users, I'm not doing videos for you. <clears throat> that said, once you have both the uh, PC program downloaded and you've got the application uh, installed, on your device what we're then going to go ahead and do is and first and foremost zoom in so you can see what the hell it is exactly we're doing and then I'm gonna go ahead and obviously once you've launched the program on your PC I'm just gonna go ahead and um, plug my Nexus 4 in as you can see there uh, you may need to switch to give me a second here you may need to switch your um, thing from media device MTP to camera PTP, but this should walk you through uh, the process. So um, we plugged it all in, we're waiting to detect the device. What we could do, I suppose actually, is actually open up the application and click on begin and uh, enable camera PTP, so we do. So go ahead, drop da that down, jump into your connected devices. We're gonna switch from MTP to PTP. Go ahead and click that and we'll wait for the next thing to happen. Uh, it's installing device driver software under my device right now. So we'll wait for that to finish. Now it's now uh, inspecting my device. So we'll wait for that to finish. And this is allow USB debugging. Complete the following steps on your device. So I don't know if that's in fact going to happen or not, but um, it did on my Samsung Galaxy S4, so it may or may not happen on my Nexus 4, I don't know. But anyways, uh, just be patient, wait for it to do its thing. In my experience so far with this process with the Sanj Mod installer, which in my opinion is still in uh, heavy development, um, even though they say it's out of beta, <clears throat> um, it still takes a while to get things done. So uh, give me a moment, we'll be right back. Alrighty, so it's done what it needed to do. So um, it's already gone ahead and started downloading the Sanage and Mod. Um, I'm assuming Sanage and Mod itself, as you can see down here at the bottom, says downloading operating system. So uh, with a little progress bar. So we'll go ahead and wait for that to complete and we'll be back just after that's done. Alrighty, so the downloading of the operating system is all finished. And as you can see here, it says everything is ready, your device, and it's recognized my Google Nexus 4. Important, you are about to install Sanage and Mod to your device. As part of this process, your device will be reset to its factory settings. All of your media and other data will be erased. Make sure to back up your important data to your computer for the, uh, for the the or the cloud before continuing uh, when you're ready, click install. So basically at this point, don't unplug your device, but if you do have any uh, important files, photos, music, whatever it might be, because you're still already plugged in your, um, your computer, you can go ahead and back everything up to a, a file that, uh, or a folder that you might uh, remember later on. So um, I don't have anything on there that I care about keeping, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on with the installation process. And the next screen here, installing, do not unplug your device or reboot your computer. And down here at the bottom left-hand corner, you may notice it says installing recovery. So um, I'm going to, ins oh, and there it goes. It just booted my device into fast boot mode, as you can see there. Um, and it should start installing clock mod recovery. It's even writing, doing all this other stuff. So it looks like recovery, considering it's flashing right now. Oh, there we go, check that out, neat. So it's obviously installing, um, I'm going to assume Clockwork Mod Recovery just because uh, Koosh uh, is the developer of Clockwork Mod. He's also one of the main team members uh, and developers over at the Sanage Mod team. Um, so I'm going to assume that we've finished installing the uh, recovery because now it's actually saying installing operating system. Uh, so we'll go ahead and I'm going to cut the video now and we'll be right back as soon as the um, screen changes. Right then, so while we're still watching the progress bar slowly creep along the screen there, I just wanted to point out that um, the uh, screen on my device has changed. And as you can see, we've got a progress bar there, with the uh, Android guy with the little, I don't know what the hell that thing is in the middle. What, what kind of shape is that? Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, and look at that, Clockwork Mod Recovery is installed. And down here it says installing system applications. So I'm going to assume that includes G apps and everything, but I guess we'll find that out in just a moment because again, I've never completely um, 
gone this far uh, before because it kept crashing on my Samsung devices. Of course, we're still waiting for the progress bar to complete. And there we go, we couldn't talk to your phone. Alrighty, I just had a scare and I ended up actually tweeting about it on uh, Twitter. <laughs> um, basically what ended up happening was it gave me another we can't talk to your device, um, which was totally ridiculous um, while it was sitting in the recovery mode. Uh, so I, I just clicked the little um, try again button and everything's working now and it switched back to a little Android guy with the progress bar. Things are happening. It says installation complete. Congratulations, you've successfully installed Sanjin Mod. We hope you enjoy your new mobile operating system. Now what's cool about this aside from the insane amounts of issues and if you ask me, um, this still needs to be put into beta mode because of all the issues that it's having with different devices and needing to download like different um, uh, drivers and things like that, which is just ridiculous. This took way longer than the manual method, I must say. Um, but what's cool about this is if you have a device that doesn't have an, uh, an unlocked bootloader, it isn't rooted, um, you can go ahead and do this process and it does everything for you. It unlocks the bootloader, it, it, it roots your device and it installs Sanage Mod. So at this point, um, I could in fact even just go ahead and click on the exit button and then I can even go ahead and unplug my device. Now, like I was just saying at this point, um, once you have Sanage Mod installed, uh, basically your phone's rooted, so you can go ahead and load any custom ROM on top of that, like into the internal SD, and um, boot back into recovery, and um, flash those ROMs as well, as far as I understand anyways. Um, anyways guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, click that likes button down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos, um, but my, sort of final opinion on this is that um, it's cool, but it's got a very, very, very long way to go um, in terms of compat full compatibility with other devices. Um, anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.